it's like embarrassing. I was like, I just woke up. Like I actually stained a cashmere blanket that we have, which is irritating. Um, but I didn't know. So it got to a point where I had to sleep on a towel, sleep on like a double towel on the bed because I didn't know if I'd be leaking. And I was waking up as often as I could. Um, anytime I opened my eyes overnight, I would go to the bathroom and change and literally I would sit on the toilet and clots would just fall out. And so, um, I, I then started to look it up and then I was just like, um, you know, what, like, do I know that these, um, are clots and are they normal and you know, what should I be doing? Um, so I had read that you can like take a clot and run it under water and if it sort of breaks apart, then it's blood. But if it doesn't break apart, then it's tissue. And so I brought a few clots at different times to um, the bathroom and ran them underwater and they didn't uh, break apart. They sort of just really stuck together, heavy and more painful. Um, they sort of really just like it stood together. So that let me know that it was tissue that was coming out of me. Um, which it was at that point actually that I started to, um, mentally feel a little better about the situation. And I'm going to tell you why that's because when I was 12 is when I first got my period, got my period. It was like normal, whatever. A few months later, I get my period again, except this time it doesn't stop. I had my period for two months when I was 12 years old and, um, I didn't tell my mom. I was like really shy. My mom's really open, but I was really shy and I didn't want to say anything. And I confirmed this with my mom the other day because I wasn't like sure what took me so long to get to the doctor when I was 12. She said that two times, like nearly in a row, I went to the doctor, uh, not to the doctor. I went to school and she had to bring me a change of clothes because I leaked through. And she said that at that point she was like, okay, what's going on with you? Like, why are you leaking through? And that's sort of how she found out that I was... Um, I had my cycle for so long and so she took me to the doctor and the doctor was like, uh, are you sexually active? Excuse me, I'm 12. <laughs> no. Um, okay. There's nothing we can do to you. So they referred me to, um, like a specialist. Uh, I remember his name was Dr. Chimino and he was in Tampa at all children's hospital. That's all I remember. Um, and I do remember though that we went there and same question. Are you sexually active? No, I'm 12. Um, and I remember they asked my mom, my parents, to leave the room because they thought that maybe I wasn't saying because my parents were there. And same thing, like, no, I'm not sexually active. I'm 12. And um, they didn't do anything. And I don't know what I, you know, I don't even know what they would do now that I know what I know. But no testing, no sort of extra questions, no guidance of any sort. They were just like, oh, your, your period's not stopping here. Get on birth control birth control at 12 years old. So I was on birth control for 14 years. So I'm going to save it. Don't worry, Vanessa. Um, yeah, these medical professionals, right? Um, so I was on birth control, yeah, for 14 years and hormonal, hormonal birth control has so many side effects. I really, really don't want to get into it right now. You can Google the side effects of it. Um, it's really just not great for you, but they were stopping the issue at hand, which was um, making my bleeding stop. And so, of course, that worked. No dietary advice, no lifestyle advice. They just said take the pill. And it got to a point where I am going to save it, Tila, no worries. Um, it got to a point where the bleeding, I would start to spot between uh, pills sometimes. Exactly. So... Vanessa, so Vanessa is saying, thank you. My doctor is telling me to take two birth controls uh, a day to not bleed. What if you don't have to have kids who are sexually active? Same 14 years ago. Um, yeah, so as, uh, what was your name? I'm sorry. Where'd you go? Vanessa, um, two pills a day. So um, there were times where I was spotting between and one pill wasn't working. And again, this was hormonal, hormonal birth control. So it had um, different hormones in it or synthetic hormones. Um, and so you'd go to the doctor, I'd go to the doctor and they would just say, well, if one pill's not working, take two. And if two pill wasn't working, take three. And if three pills didn't work, they told me to take four pills a day. So there was a point where I was taking four pills a day and it gets to, it, you know, furthermore, it gets to a point where you stop going to the doctor because they don't, they're not telling, they're literally not saying anything. You know, I'm 12, I'm 13, I'm 14, I'm 15, I'm 16. 
Are you sexually active? Every visit, are you sexually active? No. Here, they started prescribing me um, birth control just for a year at a time. So you're not sexually active. You're still, you know, you sort of have this ongoing issue, but also the birth control is making it stop. So here, I'm just going to prescribe you birth control for a year um, to balance hormonal issues. Yeah, um, so they started prescribing me birth control for up to a year where I could just uh, get it refilled like at the pharmacy, like a generic version, um, which is what I started doing. And again, we don't, you know, me and my family, we didn't know any better. This is just normal. And I know kids now who get on the pill at same 12, 13, 14, just because to regulate their cycle is what they're told or, or their parents think that it's going to help with like acne or help them sleep. And Again, all of this comes down to lifestyle. You know, I at one point was diagnosed, and I didn't really know this. Um, I didn't remember. I, there's so much I don't remember because it all happened when I was a kid, right? So every time I go home, I'm just coming across paperwork or I'm asking my mom certain things. And there was a point where they diagnosed me with PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome. Um, and I, again, I, I never got any guidance about that, but learning what I've learned now and doing, don't worry, I'm going to, I'll talk about why I wasn't worried, journey to holistic health. Um, I, what was I saying? I don't even remember right now. I don't, I literally don't remember. I can't read and talk at the same time. Sorry. Um, yes, I was on birth control for 14 years. It took me, um, that long to really learn everything that I, I learned. Thanks, Coupe polycystic ovarian syndrome, um, but um, diagnosed with PCOS. Thanks, everybody. Oh, yeah, that's what it was. Thanks, everybody, uh, with the PCOS. So they told me I had PCOS, and I didn't remember that until recently because my mom gave me, um, or maybe I even just came across a, a paperwork that said that I had it and that it was just like, what is PCOS and what do you do for it? Um, and I think, like, more times than not, they tell you that it's, like, surgery and, and birth control. But these things go away on their own and once you start living more naturally because the reason that our body is in a state of dis-ease, right? So disease, dis-ease. We're not in balance because we're living these really toxic lifestyles. And when you're eating dairy and meat and soy and yeast and when you're drinking, I don't know, tap water that has all these heavy metals in it and they basically just bleach it and chlorine it and and you know then we're drinking water that people have had they literally are taking pisses and shits and you know toilet water and then adding some chemicals to it and calling it clean and then we're drinking it we shouldn't be drinking that water right and then now they're spraying our air with things and there we have most of our food is gmo and and um you know being sprayed with all these chemicals and so your body is being attacked constantly by all of these different things and then on top of that we're eating wrong and you know we're taking antibiotics and we're taking these hormonal birth control pills and they're just really really messing us up right they're making us so sick so um yeah, around the age of 26 um, is when I really started to, and I don't remember um, exactly what sort of kicked it off. I, I stopped eating meat when I was 14. 14? 12. I think 12, around the same time this all started with my period. Yeah, because people were like, oh, you can't do that. You're going to become anemic because you're not eating red meat. Um, that was a long time ago. Um, so I haven't eaten meat in a, a long time. So... I think around the time, yeah, when I was 26, I know that I stopped taking the pill, but it was because I started learning about what the pill was and how um, how the pill can affect you and can affect your health and what food is and what food does and um, what chemicals are. And, and it was around this time that I started changing. I started brushing my teeth with just coconut oil and I started washing my face with <coughs> homemade... Um, face wash and I started um, just removing chemicals from my life so it just made sense then that I would take the birth control out and I didn't have a plan at that point I just was tired of taking it I think when when you take any medicine medicine for so long you, you get to a point where you're just like I, I, I don't want to do this anymore so I figured that I would just wait and see what happened and eventually my period just started to even itself out 
And it was at the same time that I was making these changes to my diet. So I was vegetarian from <coughs> from 14, 12. Why do I keep saying 14? Because 14 years. I was vegetarian from 12. And around, let me see, 20, I think when I was about 28 is when I went like fully, fully plant-based when I cut out cheese and eggs and stuff. But I started cutting all of those foods out um, years before. And so I started seeing differences in my periods. My, I was having more regular cycles where it was coming once a month and I was having it for seven days. And you know, that really makes you feel good about not being on the pill and not being on all of these hormones. And so, you know, that's sort of the backstory. So I have known for a while now that there's probably something going on in my womb because you can't be on birth control for that long and not have any side effects and not have anything to sort of show for it. So I remember growing up, even going to the doctors or being amongst family and people would always say, I don't know if Lacine's going to be able to have kids. I don't know if she's going to be able to carry a child because I was on birth control for so long. And um, that is a side effect. And it's something when Coop and I got together, it's not even something that I thought about anymore because when we got together, we really helped each other to continue to grow and just like at a much faster rate. So anything that I may have done on my own just was like accelerated as soon as uh, Coop and I got together. And so, um, 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 hold on, I keep losing my train of thought. Um, Hmm. Hold on. It's because I keep reading what everyone's saying and I can't do that apparently. You know what? Let me have a sip of this drink and then we'll keep going. This is homemade lemonade, by the way. It's brown because I added coconut sugar, but you can see the recipe on my other page at the pink coconut if you're interested. Um, so... Yeah, Coop and I get together and things um, sort of accelerate. And so I knew that I needed to cleanse. So when Coop and I um, were working on my visa and when I went back home to Florida during that time, because the process took like six months, something in my womb. Thank you guys. You guys are so good. Um, I went home and I decided to do a five-day water fast. Now, this was before Coop and I even knew as much as we know about it now. To be honest, I just didn't feel like spending money on groceries. I was like, you know what, I'm just going to do a water fast. And so I did one for five days, and it was, like, really great. And, um, um, yeah, I lost weight. I felt shredded. Everything was, like, really good. Fine. Fine. So since then, I've known that I needed to do another fast, but I had the baby, and then I was breastfeeding, and so it just wasn't the time to do another cleanse. Um, and so... I've always known that there was something going on in my womb, and I've always wondered, like, how do I get this out of my womb then, you know? So if I was on birth control for so long, and um, antibiotics, so hormones are antibiotics just like anything else, uh, birth control pills, antibiotics, one course, so if you take it for like a week, that can affect your gut health for two to five years two to five years just because you took medicine for a week. Now imagine I was on birth control 14 years. So I've always known that there was something going on here. Um, I just didn't know what to do about it. Like how do you get it out? What, what do I do? I didn't know. And so when I did this liquid fast, when I came back from Malta and when I started bleeding past, you know, seven days, um, and once I realized that, again, the blood clots that were coming out were tissue and not blood, um, that sort of put my mind at ease because I told myself and I fully believed that, yeah, it's crazy. Antibiotics are crazy. Um, I fully believed that if there's tissue coming out of my womb, it's because it's not meant to be there. Anything that's meant to be in my womb or anything that's meant to be inside wouldn't just fall out. And I believed that and I knew that. And so this is the reason why I didn't feel the need to see a doctor because I knew that this had to happen to get all of this crap out of my womb. Um, I just didn't know it was going to happen after this liquid fast. I didn't know that I was going to be bringing that on. So obviously I wasn't prepared. You know, I have this little girl who's really active, who wants to do a bunch of stuff. And I just started getting progressively 
I wouldn't say worse, but it was getting progressively more intense. So when I was bleeding and having all of this clotting, um, I immediately started 